say the best things come from the worst shit. This next story, and this one's about Tierra Marie. Now, according to court documents obtained by the blast, a hearing was held today, which Marie has been ordered to appear, but she was a no-show. But the Los Angeles judge now issued a bench warrant for Tierra Marie's arrest in the amount of just five thousand dollars. Now the warrant will have Marie arrested if she comes in contact with law enforcement. Now 50 Centimeters is all aware of this on his Instagram today, posting your article from the blast. Now, as the blast reported, 50 Cent was awarded thirty thousand dollars from Marie after the judge ordered the reality star to pay the rapper after he prevailed in her revenge porn lawsuit 50 cent has been vehemently going after her posting up i think he even posted up the time where they served it with the paperwork and now that they moved the judge to get a warrant 50 cent is not playing saying man you was telling me about him going out there and patenting or trademarking you know her her diss song you know um against 50 a couple of weeks ago what do you think about this man 50 cent spends a lot of time with them lawyers man 50 cent is a ferocious businessman is what we find out he don't yeah. play and right. it's inspirational because I, I would love to attain to be, aspire to be a real ferocious businessman like that just to know right all the ins and outs and, and be able to handle it as such it's inspiring but he ain't playing and it, it's funny it was funny how it all went down he's very disrespectful and trollish on instagram but that's what he do on instagram and hey man she got she bit off a lot more than what she can most of this pam sam man what's wrong she with her got the fucking up? money how oh, do you oh, not oh, have oh. the money though it's easy. Sam, man? how this is tierra marie exactly why gtm marie pd watch remember jay-z back in the day this is her back in the day how many how many, <laughs> how many broke rappers did jay-z rap with back in the day now when you say oh about man how many rappers that we heard in them classic songs they got no money now <sighs> We've seen our we man job. Say name. We ain't gonna say them niggas' names. Man. But it's plenty you. of them. Some couple of them hate, but go ahead. But yeah. you know it. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got no money. Broke asses. So <laughs> yeah, Tierra Marie ain't got no money. She ain't had that many hits. And then the love and hip hop. I mean, I don't know what them checks look like. We ain't trying to count 10, her 15 pockets. Pop, probably. So that's 75 is probably fucking crushing her. She's trying to get on the payment plan or something. Man, you think 50 Cent is being a little bit too ruthless with this? You think he may be going a little bit too hard on a young lady? I think he's well within his right. Uh, at first, I thought it may be kind of ruthless, but when you start clapping back and start trying to mock and shit, all right, well, let's see how far you can go. Let's see what you can put your money where your mouth is. I, it's a good lesson. They might as well just, you know what I mean? He might as well just go, you know what I mean? Maybe let's get it over with. Maybe yeah. that's not in agreement. <laughs> maybe he want that 75 Yeah, I don't think he's going to do that now. That's shit. a write off. 50, 75K. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that money. Yeah, man, that's, that's a shame, man. You know, um, I mean, now it's that to the point where. You're gonna at least have to pay five racks. Mm -hmm. Get your five racks up, go to the police station or whatnot, and post it and move on from there. Like you said, a payment plan, maybe five thousand a month. Get this man his money. Cause at this point, um, he's gonna get your teeth, your earring, you know, you go, hope you don't got a ring, a gauging ring, or a diamond necklace. Well, All this could be attached. She's probably making seven grand a month. So that's oh Sam, man. Bro, how much how much is T M worth? Seven come grand. on, man. Hold on. Let, can we find her net worth? Is, is that possible? Because it's a situation where it's just like, man, come on, 50. We can look online real quick. But again, you, you got a guy like 50, you know, who, again, you know, will not hesitate to get lawyers. We saw him um, sue Hip Hop DX, won that. Yep. You know, we saw him go, you know, um, world star back in the day for using his image and his likeness. So this is a guy who does not, you know, play around. So how, how much is the, the young lady worth? This is about $1 million. That was as of last year. Hmm. So seventy five thousand, yeah. I mean, just because you worth it, I mean, you got that. That's what I'm saying. I should probably. Hurt. She got some. I mean, wow. Hmm. I feel so. I, I don't know. I mean, I was. I don't know. You know, I wasn't wrapped up in the situation they was wrapped up in, but mm. I don't know, man. You got to do what you got to do in business. You can't get caught up in the thing. That's one thing you can't get caught up in. Oh, this is a woman. This is a female. Fuck that. Did you wrong? Put them lawyers on. on and, and, Fuck and, it. And, and he did. She wasn't. He wasn't playing. Yes, sir. And she's going to jail. So she's going to have to pay that five racks and then two racks to pay her rent and shit. So she might, I don't know. Damn, man. Good. Damn, she ain't going to like you, man. Tierra ain't going to like you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, but you're tuned into the Uncensored Truth podcast with your brother, Oh God, and Sam, man. The most underrated, the most uncensored podcast out there, but we still going to keep on rocking out. We don't got no budget. No editors, uh -oh. no sponsors, uh -oh. no none of that. We uh -oh. do it all ourselves, the top to the bottom process, and we still smoking you cats. It is what it is, man. 
You know what I mean? But yeah, man, definitely, definitely. Um, that's all I got over here on my side, Sam. Man. That's all I got too, man. All I wanted to do was give a shout out and sincere prayers out to John Singleton. Yeah. We all know the legendary producer, produced a lot of our great classics, Boys in the Hood, to name a flow. What else did he he produce? So many other ones. Boys in the Hood. Um I don't even know at this point, but I remember right. Boys in the Hood with shit. He baby boy. I think he, he did a lot. baby boy. Yeah. Menace to society, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, just salute to him. Had a stroke this week, hit him real hard. He was in ICU, excuse me, for a little while, but he came out recovering at home with his family. Now we know strokes. Our grandfather had a couple of those, so yeah, yeah, definitely know how strokes hit the families, man. It's a very scary thing. They said his leg went numb, and then he was coming home from Costa Rica and just had a lot going on at the time and got rushed to the hospital. So just prayers out to the family. That's all I wanted to throw out there for John Singleton. Yes, yes, definitely. You know, the same here. And, you know, I'm going to jump to this next story, you know, real quick. We said we would talk about this, you know, on the way out. McNabb, McNabb, you know, um, said a comment. This is for all the sports heads out there. This is a big topic. You know, the other day he talked on CBS Sports Radio and he said this about the current Eagles quarterback, Carson Wentz. He says, I think – Personally, if he can't get out of the second round in the next two, maybe three years, but really two, to be honest with you, if he can't get out of the second round, they should look to possibly draft another quarterback because you just don't know about his durability. They put so much of their eggs into a basket with Carson Wentz, and he's got to prove that within the next two years. Now, this caused an uproar. Lane Johnson, you know, who's the current Eagles right tackle, came at McNabb. You know, called and said that the players were jealous. They didn't really want them to win the Super Bowl and all that. He was saying a lot of stuff, Lane Johnson, about, you know, the ex-Eagles players. And um, I saw a lot of the guys making videos. And I, I said to myself, I agree with Donovan 100%. You know, and a lot of a lot of people's criticism of Donovan because he couldn't get the ring. But forget all that right now. Carson Wentz better get it done within the next two years. Or... They need to look to go to somebody else. I was a guy who went out on a limb and said, keep keep Nick. Let Carson go. Nick showed you he can win a Super Bowl. Damn, they won you two or got you to another. Carson, you know, has been injured a lot. Showed you that one year he was the man, you know, did great, but he could not stay healthy, which McNabb said, durability. So, I mean, that was 100% right. What do you think about this, Sam, man, Redskins fan? I agree with what McNabb say, but he ain't the person to say it. He should have whispered oh, that to one man. of his friends, and here's why. You come off better, man. You were the, the <laughs> leader of that squad for well over a decade. You, you led the team to four NFC championships, and you choked in four of them. No, you choked in three of them, excuse me. And then you choked on the biggest game of them all, the Super Bowl. And this isn't me saying this as a Redskins hater. This is me saying this as a watcher of football. And you know a lot of people, even Eagles fans, will give Donovan McNabb the same criticism. He could not get him over the hump. He couldn't get him over the hump in fucking Syracuse. Couldn't give him oh, over the hump in Philly. On, man. He didn't give him over the hump when he was a bum in the Redskins for a little while. <laughs> he just one of these things where he just couldn't do it. Now, he's a great commentator. I'm not going to take anything away from him. And what he said could be true, but it also could come off as a little bit of hate and putting pressure on a kid that got drafted first. They invested a lot of money, a lot of stock in. Now, I'm not saying that he doesn't have to deliver on expectation where he's in a city where expectation is extremely high coming off of the, the uh, their first Super Bowl title ever the last couple of years, or two years ago now, mm -hmm. their expectations are high. They lost by a very, very slim margin last year, expected to win the NFC East again. So if you don't go out there and deliver, or God forbid you start coming up and your shoulder starts getting hurt, or you, you come up and you're grabbing your hamstring, the fans aren't wanna, going to want to see that shit again. So there's going to be an amount of pressure on you. Him, McNabb, knowing that better than everybody, because he's yeah. been hurt plenty of times out there in Philly. So... I think that is I, I don't know if his approach was just wrong or if it just made came off because he was right. But here's but what McNabb said. Wrong. He said this, and I want to say something, you know, and end this out. McNabb, he said, for those who risk mad, who misread, you didn't understand, were confused, or just didn't like my comment. Let me clarify it for you. Let me start by saying there's no beef, riff, or ill will towards Carson Wentz or the Eagles. My comments were strictly based off experience and understanding. And I want to say this to the point about the McNabb. You said he couldn't get over the hump. Very true. But if it wasn't for people like McNabb, Andy Reid, the Eagles wouldn't even been in position to win the Super Bowl because this started a long time ago, building a culture of winning. You know what I mean? B building that. You know what I mean? Because before, remember, remember before the Eagles, Ray Rose and Cole Tight, they sucked. Right. It wasn't until they got the best quarterback still to ever put an Eagles uniform on. Still, Donovan McNabb 
until they started and Andy Reid until they started getting that winning culture back in Philadelphia. You know what I mean? And that trickled down. And, you know, and one guy who even said this was um, Westbrook that trickled down from the younger players to, you know, generational down Troy Vincent and cats now to even even players like Deshaun Jackson reiterating that what he learned from Westbrook and guys like that. So the culture was built up with Donovan. Now it was tough. I mean, you know, um, for we, we we witnessed the, the NFC Championship games, you know what I mean? But we can also great, say, great. yeah, weapon. He didn't have the, you know, the one year he had T.O., they probably arguably should have won. But he didn't have nobody. He didn't have the weapons that a Carson Wentz or Nick Foles, you know Brady. what I mean, had. Tom Brady. Had I mean, but that's different. We can't even say about it. Tom Brady. That, he's a whole, he's over here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, arguably, yeah, but still, it's still a feat to go to four NFC Championship games. Don't-